This is the Victron Smart Solar MPPT Charge Controller. And this is the Victron Connect mobile app. From this app, you can monitor, configure, and update equipment with ease. The app also lets you get live status info. You can know what uh, the solar panels are generating and what the controller is using to charge your battery bank. That is what is going to your battery bank. I have two videos, one on the left and one on the right. I took these videos at different time interval. Uh, one on the, the one on the left, I took the video when the intensity of sun was low. And the one on the right, I took it when the intensity of sun was a little bit high. So uh, basically what the MPPT charge controller does is that it receives high voltage from the solar panels, high PV voltage, and, you know, step down this voltage to charge uh, the battery bank, depending on your battery bank voltage, whether it is 12, 24, or 48 volts, you know, battery bank. So uh, you can see that... Um, from the solar side of the app or the controller, uh, the voltage that is coming from the solar panel is high and the current is low. But what is going to the battery bank is uh, it has stepped down this voltage to you know, charge the battery bank. The battery bank is a 48 volt battery bank. So you can see that uh, it's charging the, um, the battery. Uh, that's what we call a absorption we have fluids and we have uh, uh, a bulk we also have equalization these are the stages the mppt charge controller uses in charging your battery bank absorption equalization fluids and bulk charge so depending on the stage now the status of this one is in bulk uh, charge so uh, you can do <coughs> all the settings using this app you don't need to you know go to the controller you can do all the settings from this app so you can see that the current that is coming from the solar panels is low but what this charge controller is sending to the battery bank is high so uh, with an mppt charge controller you can connect your solar panels in series in series uh, <clears throat> when you connect solar panels in series voltage will increase but current will stay the same so that is why you're having high voltage from the solar panels because they are connected in series and you're having low current but what is going to the battery bank is you're having high current the mppt has stepped down this voltage converted this high voltage to you know high current to charge your battery bank now when sizing your cables breakers fuses and other ocpds from from uh, the cable size from the solar panels to the charge controller, the MPPT charge controller, will be small as compared to the cable size that will be leaving the charge controller to the battery bank. That will be large because you're having high current. But the one from the solar panels to the charge controller is, uh, is small. You'll be using smaller cables because you're having small, uh, low current. The current is not high. So you don't need large cables. But if your uh, sizing cables from the charge controller to the battery bank the cable size will be large because you are having high current also your breaker size and the fuse other ocpds that is over current protection devices will be high because of the high current but the cost of cable you're going to use from the charge controller to the battery bank the the amount of money you're going to use will not be high because the distance between the charge controller and the battery bank is not long. So you may have one meter or two meters, depending on the distance you're having from your charge controller to your battery bank. But it is highly recommended that the distance between the charge controller to the battery bank should not be, you know, long to reduce voltage loss. So the MPPT charge controller gives you this... Uh, gives you the opportunity to connect uh, solar panels to have high voltage and it makes it reduce uh, voltage loss it reduce a lot of losses between the solar panels and the charge controller when the distance between them is very long 